Thanks so much for looking in. We appreciate your valuable time as we get into your national forecast. My name is Ann Warnight. Big story today is the remnants of Hurricane uh, Barrel working with the cold front dropping in lots of rain. We're going to see torrential rainfall in many areas. With that rain will come the risk of thunderstorms already. Some of that uh, occurring through the first half of the day, but the risk of severe limit storms in certain areas as indicated in orange here. Uh, and then we have the rainfall warnings. Along with that, special weather statements and flash flood watches for Toronto and Hamilton. How much rain? Well, our latest analysis is suggesting, generally speaking, 25 to 50 millimeters, 2 inches. But there will be areas, clearly, that will see much more than that. Wouldn't be surprised if we surpass uh, 3 inches, 75 plus millimeters. And that's why the flooding is uh, very probable in some areas. Now, cold front, separate system giving us some thunderstorms across Newfoundland and Labrador, and then it'll be working with this system, which is now post-tropical, uh, yeah, the remnants of Hurricane Barrel. And there's that rain and thunderstorms. It'll become uh, the Maritimes issue for tomorrow through Friday as it continues to lift up to the northeast. For today, risk of thunderstorms into Atlantic Canada. There are some concerns for severe limit storms. Other than that, uh, we'll see non-severe activity. Uh, Corner Brook risk of thunderstorms 22 for today, 25 in St. John's. We'll see a mix of sun and cloud in Halifax, 28 degrees. Cooler across southern Ontario with the cloud and the rain. Uh, not as uh, oppressively hot. Also, the humid X readings will make it feel warmer, but not into the 30s for today. But certainly rain, heavy at times, and uh, the risk of thunderstorms. Now, we'll see that risk as well for the prairies, tracking two things. One is this front to the north, and then we have this trough. So you'll see some reds and even some purples. Those are the severe limit storms we're tracking for today, especially uh, into the afternoon period. I've highlighted the areas of greatest concern you can see here in orange. And in terms of timing, you know, it's going to be very difficult to pinpoint exactly. But places like uh, to the north in Fort McMurray, likely after lunch, things will start to fire up. Uh, you'll see that risk punches down to the south as well. And that means some large hail, strong wind gusts, as well as some heavy rain. Still very hot. The core of the heat now has moved from British Columbia into Alberta, and it continues to drift uh, you know, very slowly to the east. We likely will break records in Fort McMurray, Edmonton, Calgary, Medicine Hat. All of these cities today will likely set new records. Uh, on Tuesday, almost 50 new records were set in B.C. and Alberta. But you can see the temperature much better in uh, Vancouver, 25 for today, 28 in Victoria, 31 in Prince George. And then as we take a look at the heat warning that is in place, already we're starting to see some improvements. Environment Canada has dropped uh, portions of uh, the heat warning in British Columbia. I suspect by late tonight, if not tomorrow, uh, a lot of this pink uh, and red will be gone as well in portions of Alberta. So that's part of the story. I wanted to show you a quick snapshot of what it feels like across the country. There are still some heat warnings in parts of the Maritimes. Uh, human X reading of 37 today in Halifax. Feels like 31 in Ottawa for the afternoon. 27 in Toronto and then 34 in Winnipeg. But look at this. Feeling like 38 in Edmonton, 36 in Regina and 37 degrees in Calgary.